the new Apple Glasses, everything there is to know. Since the first Apple computer system was developed and hand-built by Steve Wozniak in 1976, Apple has become an innovator of technology. Every product they've released throughout the years has been packed with the most groundbreaking tech on the market. Now, their latest product that will take another massive leap into the future is the Apple Glasses. In today's video, we'll take a deep dive into all the current information known about this life-changing device and when we can expect them to hit the stores. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way, you'll never miss any of our future videos. The Apple AR Glasses For those who have seen the Iron Man films, you may recall the suit's internal computer system called Jarvis that allows Tony Stark to see all sorts of digital information through the eyes of his suit. Although this kind of optical technology has only belonged in sci-fi, it appears that we won't have to wait too long until it becomes a reality. Who knows, maybe in a few more years, we'll all have shiny red suits that can jet around the sky. Here's to hoping, right? The Apple Glass augmented reality glasses are all but confirmed at this point, with the reliable leaks giving us an exciting glimpse into this futuristic, first generation of wearable computers. What adds further fuel to the fire is the discovery of a new patents that pretty much confirm the Apple AR glasses. When will they launch? The original rumors suggested that the lenses would launch this year. But as we approach the new year, it seems that the delays brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic stopped any announcement or launch from happening in 2020. Of course, this could be a marketing strategy to ensure the economy is in a better place before releasing them, thus maximizing their profits. How will they work? The eyewear is designed to synchronize with your iPhone so that things like emails, texts, maps, games, and social media can all be seen in your field of vision, displayed in an attractive way that will not block your view of the real world. No longer will you trip over or walk into something because you had your head down looking at your phone. Apple also intends to involve third-party apps to work with the glasses, as well as their own Apple TV and Apple Watch apps. Finally, one patent that has been issued to Apple is a technology that will allow the Apple Glass to adjust to a person's eyesight, improving their vision using optical subassembly which means that the wearer will not need to get a traditional prescription for their glasses, which will be a huge step forward in the world of eye care and vision. One very interesting patent that Apple has will use a satellite program similar to Google Earth. This will allow people to explore different parts of the world remotely just by wearing their Apple glasses. If you're enjoying this in-depth look into the new Apple glasses, why not subscribe to the channel? That way, you won't miss any future videos on this game-changing device. The proof. One analyst has said that the glasses are most likely to come next year. However, Mark Gurman of the Bloomberg company has said that the earliest we will see them is 2023. Despite the confusion surrounding the release date, it is believed that the official announcement will come very soon as too much information has been leaked already. Regardless of how long we'll have to wait, the biggest takeaway from this is that the product is in the works. The latest leak on the Apple glasses comes from the reliable leaker John Prosser, who says that the glasses will be officially called Apple Glass and will be capable of displaying information on both lenses. Other patents have led us to believe that iPhones and iPads will play a large part in controlling what we see through the lenses. In fact, it's believed that all the processing will come from these devices with LiDAR scanners powering the AR experience and optimizing its performance. This means that we will be able to stream a movie or TV show straight from our phones to our glasses. It could be a handy way to catch up on your favorite shows during a boring day at work, right? Another source has said that there won't be any sunglasses versions, as the tinted lenses wouldn't work with the technology they're currently using. That being said, a special Steve Jobs edition is in the works. They'll come at a higher price tag, but will look identical to the iconic pair of glasses the late Jobs wore. But let's be honest, they could also call this version the John Lennon or the Harry Potter. A fun aspect of these glasses is the fact that other people won't be able to see what you're seeing on the lenses, 
That means you could secretly watch the football game during date night or check your social media in the middle of a meeting. The possibilities are endless. If you had a pair of Apple glasses, what would you use them for? Let us know in the comment section below. Further proof. What only strengthens the reality that Apple glasses will be coming sooner rather than later is that Apple have filed 53 patents that cover AR wearable 3D mapping technology and a more intelligent iPhone home screen. This all points to them getting ready for their next generation of smart devices. One grisly leak that has surfaced is an injury report conducted at Apple's Cupertino headquarters that speaks of a prototype unit that caused eye injuries for two users. Let's just hope they iron out those kinks before they ship the products out to us. The Specs Although a lot of details have come out about Apple's next big device, its specs still remain a secret. That being said, we can give a well-educated guess based on the current tech that is on the market. For example, it should have the same field of view and resolution as the HoloLens 2, which is 52 degrees and 47 ppi. Currently, Google Glass gives a heads-up display that only shows 2D notification or maps. So if Apple wants to implement augmented reality into their version, then the iPhone or iPad use will have to process the images extremely quickly, using a powerful Wi-Fi connection and a very high frame rate. In short, they'd have to pack a punch that would knock Mike Tyson out. When it comes to battery life, it's believed that the Apple Glass will have a maximum user capacity of three hours, although linked charges with other devices will most likely be implemented. They may be planning on using the same kind of charge extending functions as we've seen with the Apple AirPods. The price. When a new product is on the horizon, a lot of people want to know how much it's going to cost. Let's face it, we all like to know how many months of dinner we need to skip before we can afford the state-of-the-art gizmo. Well, because Apple is yet to announce their glasses officially, we can only go by a leak given by John Prosser who says they will cost $499 which is around 400 pounds. This price tag is without any subscription charges or any other features they make available. Compared to the HoloLens 2, that costs $3,500 because of the built-in AR hardware, the Apple glasses are far cheaper. The reason for this huge price gap comes down to the fact that they will be powered by the connected iPhone, reducing the amount of internal components. Conclusion it's clear that Apple's taking the development of their Apple Glass extremely seriously, having a number of impressive patents already in place so its release will be as effective as possible. Just like the invention of the smartphone, Apple Glasses could change the way we live our lives and consume information going into the future. Personally, I'd like to see the finished product look like a well-made pair of stylish glasses that don't look chunky. Also, having a battery capacity of three hours is far too small especially if you intend to wear them all day. An eight-hour battery life with power-saving options sounds more reasonable by today's standards. What would you like to see with the new Apple glasses? Are there any apps you think should be adapted for it? I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way, you'll never miss a future upload. Thanks for watching.